Hey, Brennan here. Uh, I'm looking today at the released beta for Bricks 1.12, which includes components. Now, components are one of the most requested features. There's been a lot of buzz in the community about what that implementation will look like and how that will affect our workflows and all that good stuff. So I just wanted to take a quick first look at it. I haven't really loaded it up yet. I watched uh, Thomas's video down here below. It's highly recommend you check that out. Um, but we're just going to jump into it and we'll see what this offers us. So let me just jump into one, a site where I have the beta on and we'll just, I don't know, make a home page or something. And let's just add some stuff to the page and we'll get some components going. So, um, you know, we need to, I guess... Add some stuff here. Uh, components demo. And I don't know. Let's just make another section below, I guess. And we'll add a oops, add block. And we'll call this our card. And then we'll add, you know, just some stuff to it, I guess. We'll add a button, link, image. Keep it simple. And let's see what kind of images I have on this site. Nothing. Okay, we've got some images added. Let's add that. And okay, well we could we could just see. I guess I could just turn this into a component now, right? Right click allow that and save as component all right so let's do that and we'll call this card alpha let's create a category called cards and we'll create it all right so you can see the we only have that that particular component in our structure panel now and we don't have the design panel so we just have create and connect our properties so the properties are going to be how you define the elements within your card or within your component rather uh, that you want to be able to be edited so let's go ahead and create some and we'll create a text one for you know card heading and we can add a default text here and we'll create that and nothing's happened yet you can see our default you can see it's unconnected and you know our default text is not showing and so what you need to be able to do is click on what you're trying to override and sure enough we do see a new icon here next to the dynamic data for connect property text so i can connect that and that's the only property that i've created so i can go ahead and connect that and just like that it will update it with the default text so that's that's exactly what we want there that's perfect um let's go ahead and Oops, I seem to have just gotten out of the edit mode. Uh, let's edit this again and create some more properties. Let's add text for the description. All right. This is my card description text. Okay, so that should work. And we can add... I can, you gotta make sure you hit create and that'll take you into this list. You see them all. It'd be nice to be able to group these. Um, for instance, I know that I'm going to be wanting to change the link of the button, right? So this will be like the button link and you could change what your default link is, I guess. So let's just put in something there, create that. Okay. And I assume we'll want to be able to override the text of the button as well. So let's see what that looks like. So text, this will be like uh, button text. Uh, it'll be our default text, and that's good. So let's um, let's assign these. Let's also just do the image card image, and our default one will be this one. All right, we'll create that. So we just have five properties. Uh, for our heading, our description, our button link, and our button text, and the image. 
So let's see if we can get these connected up. Let's go to our basic text. And again, we see this little uh, dot here to connect that. So we can connect our description. And on our button, we can connect our button text. And you'll notice it doesn't have like the button link in here. These are only, it's only showing text properties in here, which is kind of nice. You don't have to filter through ones that are not able to be used. And down here again, we see a link here for uh, connecting the button link, right? So we can add that. Perfect. So that is what we want to do. Um, now I'm curious, like if I'm on the style pad, I guess I could style this. And, well, let's let's go ahead and duplicate this. So let's go back to our our container here. Let's duplicate this card, and let's just put a grid on here. Uh, auto grid. All right. So we have our pretty ugly looking card. Nothing special yet. Um, but now we're able to override these. So this is like card number one, right? This is my card one description text. And we can select our button. You can select any of those, I guess. It's, uh, you know, if you wanted to do dynamic and button text, um, whatever, learn more. Wonderful text there. Um, so that, that lets us override that particular instance of it. And we'll just do this again for, for this kind of stuff. Um, we'll just add these in here. Uh, card two. All right. So you get the idea. You can override your, your properties um, on a one-off basis per card. Um, but then let's see what else we can do. We can come in and edit this again. Let's uh, edit the component. Now this, this is just going to edit the properties, but I want to edit the component itself. And now I'm in at the top level parent of the card, right? So I can, for instance, put some padding in here and this will, uh, yeah, that's going to add it to all the instances of my car. Now notice I'm not using any classes. I don't have custom classes on here. This is just through the uh, card component itself that I'm able to edit, add these uh, properties and it's doing it on all of them, right? So I can click on the image on all of my cards and actually change the position, right? Put that at the top and that should work. And also on my button, I can like come in and search for my button. Right, let's put on primary. There's our primary button, and that, and that's like adding a class, but on all different instances. So I'm not having to go to each individual one and add that class on the button. It's just because it's done it at a component level. It's going to affect all the components like that. So that is super useful. Um, and you know now you can duplicate this and have various instances of it. Right, but now we can, oh, let's also, you know what I forgot to do is attach the uh, image. So I can come here and go to image. And again, we'll see that connect property and there's our card image. And so that'll probably change all of them, right? Because we selected a default image. All right, so now we're able to go on any of these and change out the images as we see fit. All right, so that's very handy to be able to change that. And that's going to change it on not just this page, but across your whole website with uh, card components. So pretty cool stuff that it's easy to hook up your properties and have only the things you want to do. I'm going to be testing it with, uh, you know, some like non-developer, non-designer people that need to come in and create layouts and bricks and see what they, how they feel about these kind of additions. I think it's pretty useful to be able to create these type of components and change your structure right on the fly as you need, right? So what else can we do? Um, one thing I noticed you, I, I didn't seem to be able to do, but I just, I guess, edit the, edit the component again, uh, or let's see, let's create a, let's create the, edit the properties. And if we create a property, you'll notice we don't have, things like background color or class or conditions. And I feel like those are definitely missing. And I really hope that they add those because 
For instance, if you want to be able to add a card and conditionally show the the um, button and say, you know, have it hidden by default, but have a toggle that lets a person just toggle it on, we're going to need something for visibility um, and or conditions here. Um, and same with like something like background color, like it'd be nice to, to give the ability to select several different, you know, this is just like a light gray, but what if we want the primary color? Well, it'd be nice to be able to override that um, on a component basis, right? So if we go back to our instance here um, and I edit the component, it'd be nice to be able to add a selector here for a component style uh even with a like it'd be nice to have like a multi like a drop down like a select field that you can select from several predefined options i think that'd be a really nice addition to give a little more um style options not just for the layout but also for style and so i wanted to just actually jump back into the quickly uh which you know was a pretty nice builder but it's kind of defunct now more or less um, but they have, here's a component I have here. And I, I have, first of all, I have way more properties. I have text, rich text, list, link, image. You know, we have those, but here's gallery, your video, icon. We have color, right? So if I add a color and call this like background color, uh, and like, I don't know, set a default color, um, I'm able to um, go into my, uh, template or go into my instance of my card and now I should have that as an option here right so there's my I can change the background color and that's going to change it on all those cards and so quickly did a really good job of, of giving additional options for uh, components right you can add all these other ones they have visibility they have conditions right so we have a visibility uh, you know we could say default is, is visible um, button visibility or something like that. And that would let us uh, come to our button here. And I could say, this is like a condition, I guess. Um, I feel like there's like a visibility thing here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Feel like there's a visibility thing here oh yeah okay so visibility here and i could say connect that to that okay so then on my actual component let's exit the component and i could say button visibility is hidden on that one just on that single little instance of the component you could see i'll hide it and all the other ones have the button still so i think that is a pretty nice um addition to components i think that uh it would be nice to see the team at bricks um take a look at what they've added here there's a bunch of different options you can change classes you can add toggles lots of different options here so i think um that would be something to strive for in terms of improving components so that's just going to be a first look at them i know you can do so many other things with components um you can of course set the create add dynamic data to these, of course, if you want, uh, which will be pretty useful, but then you can also just override them. So I'd like to see a little bit more functionality before I really start diving into this, uh, but I'm really excited about what this is going to offer people in you know, that are building with bricks. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys excited for this? Uh, what do you think? Have you... Do you have any comparisons? Like, because I know Figma has components and that's another really interesting way to think about variations of components, um, providing style variations. Again, I'll just go back to, to quickly again, but they have this other, not just properties for components, but they have style variations. So you can add, uh, you know, like centered, centered text or whatever, and then you can choose what that style uh, provides your component. So when you're selecting a component, you can, um, just select between whatever you'd like to see there, right? So style two, if I go back to one of these, 
and then you can you have a drop down to select like your different um, sort of preset styles using the component style. So uh, it'd be nice to see a little bit more of that. But overall, I'm excited and um, yeah, look forward to what this is going to offer us for our, all of our, us Bricks users. So, all right, I will see you in the next one.